back for another episode of Kayak Fishing in Virginia Beach. Uh, today I just want to talk to you about milk crates. There are dozens of videos probably online that you can view on what to make. Uh, I just want to show you the, the two that I've got made up. Uh, give you kind of an idea of what you may want to look for when you're designing something. Uh, so if you hold on, we'll get started. Okay, these are my first two milk crates. Uh, this is the first one I made. Uh, this one I just got finished making. Uh, and here are some of the things I did on my first one. Uh, I used PVC, put it on the inside, zip tied it down. Uh, I cut notches in the PVC so that when you place a rod in it, It doesn't wiggle around. Uh, that actually came in very handy. The second time I ever went out kayak fishing, I turtled and one of my rods actually jammed in the holder when it turtled and I didn't end up losing that rod. That's before I started leashing down all of my equipment. Uh, but as far as this particular one, uh, I used the full crate. I didn't cut it down or anything. Uh, the lid that I've got here is just a PVC pipe, and I used paracord to make a net for the top of it. Uh, the one thing that I did not like about this crate, actually two things I didn't like about this crate when I'm after using it, uh, you'll find it as you make things to go fishing. Some things work on the water, some things don't. Uh, the first problem I found is where this was behind me, trying to reach behind into the crate was kind of difficult uh, because of the angle that you were trying to go in. Uh, the other thing I didn't like is I really didn't have a good way to keep my hatch secure. I ended up using the bungees that are already on my Hobie and use that to, to hold the, the top down. Uh, the one other problem that I ran into was the rod holders here in the back. Uh, by having them this high, when you had a rod in and you're trying to reach behind and pull the rod out, again you're twisted, it's trying to, it binds up trying to pull it out. Needless to say, trying to put the rod back in is very difficult. So, uh, if you want to go with something that's a full full crate design, I recommend putting your rod holders somewhere on the outside of the crate, in the back or on one side, or either in the front. Uh, as far as the inside goes, uh, pretty simple. I put a couple of bungees to hold uh, my bait boxes, things of that nature. Uh, I got another bungee in the back here, hold my sunscreen, and that's it. Now the other crate, this one here I just finished making. I wanted something a little bit different design. Uh, you can see that I definitely cut the crate down. Uh, that way it's going to be easier for me to get into. Uh, I put a couple of rod holders here in the front and I wanted some type of a lid that way if I do happen to turtle everything I own is not going to go in the water especially my boxes with my lures or my soft plastics bag uh, yes there are still some things that come out the side like my sunscreen or my uh, Stringer, but that's something doesn't talk, cost a lot to replace. Uh, this one here, I did not put rod holders in the back. Uh, what I did this time is I just put the one holder in the back to hold my pole light that's in another episode. Uh, as far as the front goes, you know, like I said, you've got a couple of rod holders here that I can use. And again, these are in addition to what is already on your kayak. Uh, 
some of the changes I made is I cup, took a couple of J hooks. Well, first off, my topper here is just a cheap cutting board from Kmart that I cut down. And since it's made of all uh, PVC plastic or whatever they make cutting boards out of, it's not wood. Uh, and I put a bungee in the front here, so that is definitely going to stay hooked now. Uh, I've got brass hinges with stainless steel screws that way again to cut down on rust. Now on the inside here uh, what I've done is I wanted some type of divider to keep my stuff in but I also wanted to be able to uh, if you just have the bungee when you're sliding something in, you can slide something in back out the other side, which isn't going to secure it very well. These are two plastic cutting boards that I cut down and drilled holes in from the dollar store. They cost me a dollar a piece. Uh, you'll realize when you're mo making mods for your kayak that you'll think outside the box on a lot of things. And this is something I can just slide down in there easily. And if I've got my bait bag I'm using, I can just hook it behind those. And again, it slides down there very easily. And you can see that that stays out of the way of most of your rods. You know, if a rod happens to roll over and be in front of it, it doesn't take nothing to move it out of the way. Uh, pretty much that is my two crates that I have right now made. Uh, when you're modding your crates, uh, Again, you know, you want to use stuff that's not going to be susceptible to the salt water. Uh, one of the things that I didn't realize and stumbled onto when I was adding my PVC in the back here for my rod holder, or for my light holder, uh, I found that using zip ties didn't cut it. It didn't provide enough strength to keep it from pop from breaking off. And since I do a lot of work on my own vehicles, I got to looking, and hose clamps that you normally use like on a radiator are stainless steel. So, I just got a couple of hose clamps on there, and as you can see, that is not going anywhere at all. Uh, as far as my light goes, I just put a little string down here to attach it so that my pole light doesn't come out. But again, that's my my two milk crates. Uh, hope it gives you some ideas on how to make your own. Enjoy. Tune back for new episodes. Thanks.